Diana of Themyscira is certainly wondrous. Crafted by the gods themselves, she is incredibly strong and agile, quick enough to matrix style visualize bullets and block them. But just being fast and just being strong isn't enough to do what Wonder Woman does. She has to be really smart, too. Jeez! Jeez! Okay, we'll start. Man. Ever since her comic book debut, one of Wonder Woman's abilities has been to use her indestructible bracers to deflect incoming projectiles, in most cases bullets. It seems straightforward, identify the bullet and block it, but it's not that easy, and that's where the wonder comes in. In order to block a bullet, you need the reaction time to do so, and you need to be strong enough to withstand the impact. So first, what does blocking a bullet feel like? Well, right before impact, right before impact, a bullet has two quantities that can help us determine what the force would feel like when you block a bullet. The first is momentum, defined as the bullet's mass times the bullet's velocity. The second is a bullet's kinetic energy, which is defined as one half times the bullet's mass times the bullet's velocity squared. Now, kinetic energy and momentum are related, but they are not the same thing. Consider the German service rifle during World War I, something like what Diana would have faced in the Wonder Woman movie, the Gewehr 98. Now, imagine it firing. Because momentum has a direction and is conserved, both the bullet and the gun get the same amount of momentum and cancel out. But what side of the gun is more dangerous to be on? The bullet side, duh. That's because of the directionless amount of kinetic energy the bullet has. Because kinetic energy is proportional to the square of the bullet's velocity, and the bullet is traveling, nailing it, traveling at many hundreds of meters per second, the bullet has a lot more kinetic energy. See, it's bigger. <laughs> The kinetic energy of bullets is an important metric in weaponry because it describes how far a bullet will go, how far it will penetrate into some object before it is slowed down by the forces impressed upon it. But Diana's bracers are impenetrable, so instead we are gonna use momentum, which describes how long it will take a bullet to be slowed down to zero by some force. Based on the Gewehr 98, which has bullets that weigh around 10 grams that come out of the muzzle at around 878 meters per second, and based on the about one or two frames Wonder Woman takes to block the bullets, the bullets that she is blocking are imparting a force of around 210 newtons, about 50 pounds. It's less force than you may think, a baseball hitting you at major league speeds over the same time period Ow! Would feel about the same, so Diana's secret has to be something else. What? I don't need, where's my invisible jet? I don't need this, I don't need this baseball stuff. Baseball's boring. I don't, it's the only game where if you go to the stadium, it's less fun. It's more boring. I don't like baseball. I found it. Diana wouldn't be able to block bullets that she couldn't react to, and so her reaction time would have to be incredible. Let's use a scene from the movie as an example. Now, I have no idea how far the bullet is traveling before it meets Diana, but the bad guys could probably see her and the Gewehr 98 has a range of around 800 meters when sighted, so we'll go with that. For any distance over which a bullet can still be considered deadly, its velocity is gonna be more or less constant. The Gewehr 98 in our example for the Wonder Woman film has a muzzle velocity of 878 meters per second. So if you plot this like so, you get a straight line indicating that constant velocity. Now, using the slope of this line, we can input any distance and get a corresponding time it would take for the bullet to make that distance. This would be the minimum amount of time that Diana would have to identify, react to, and block a bullet. So, using our example again, at the maximum distance of 800 meters away, Diana would have just nine tenths of a second to respond, which is actually a significant amount of time. You could probably block this bullet if you could see it coming, but yes, never ever try that. That's the truth, duh. But Diana has to be quicker than that. Using the beach scene from Wonder Woman, it looks like the bad guys are less than 100 meters away. And if that was the case, that means she has a reaction time 
of just a tenth of a second, which is twice as fast as any human reaction time. And what about this scene when she blocks a Luger from what looks like less than five meters away? Well, if we plot the Luger's constant velocity, then we find that she would have a reaction time of just 10 milliseconds, almost faster than your brain can tell your limbs to move. But again, reaction time isn't necessarily Wonder Woman's bullet blocking secret. In 2011, we discovered a fly that has twice the reaction time that we calculated Diana to have, so we know it's at least physically possible, no. Blocking bullets like Wonder Woman doesn't just take strength or speed, it has to be being a gigantic physics nerd. Diana's bracers are curved, and the bullets that she blocks with these bracers violently shatter for some reason. So, unless the bullets hit these bracers and perfectly transfer all of their momenta to her by hitting in the exact right place at the exact right angle like that, some of the bullet fragments are bound to continue on and follow the curvature of her bracers like this and create deadly shrapnel. This is a real and documented battlefield danger. And here's the problem. Many of the blocks that Diana makes look very dangerous if you are not considering the shrapnel coming off of shattered bullets. Look at this image. It should look something like this instead, with bullet fragments spraying off of the indestructible bracers and heading towards her head and chest. Unless Wonder Woman's bullet blocking secret is being able to perfectly predict the ballistic trajectories of bullet shrapnel to create a kind of safety shadow around her where no shrapnel would continue on to either harm parts of her body or those that she's trying to protect. I mean, she has to be doing something like this or else the love interest part of the story would have been a lot shorter if she miscalculated what happens after she blocked that bullet. You cannot just hold a bracer in front of your face and block a bullet and expect everything to be fine. So Wonder Woman must be calculating ballistic trajectories and velocities on the fly. In addition to everything else she does, like some kind of superhero, super nerd boss lady. So, what is the secret to Wonder Woman's bullet blocking abilities? Well, she has an incredible reaction time, sure, and she's incredibly strong, of course, but what Diana would really need is a deep understanding of ballistics and physics in order to perfectly direct bullet ricochets and shrapnel away from herself and others. Either that or it just looks cool, both are equally plausible, because science and movies uh, Wonder Woman! You know, the same guy who invent- who- who invented <laughs> Wonder Woman also in, also invented the polygraph test? That's where the lasso of truth comes from. But polygraphs don't work. They only detect the periphery of what we think lies are, so uh, increased heart rate and sweating and pupil dilation and all this stuff, it doesn't detect that last one, for, forget I said that. But they, it doesn't detect direct lying because it doesn't know what you're thinking. And we don't consider it admissible in court anymore. But criminals think it works, so we still use it. So it's still kind of a lasso of truth, except they put it here, around your nips. <laughs> I mean, bye! Thank you so much for watching, James. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, all sci-file, and I'm posting really cool stuff you're missing out. If you want something a little bit sillier than this, check out Musquatch! <laughs> if you want something a bit more serious, subscribe to Project Alpha at projectalpha.com for the space program. And if you do that, you get a free 30-day trial and you get this show two days before anyone else. <laughs> like, like a real cool person. I mean, it's it's not really your nips. It is. It's more your chest. They don't put a polygraph on your on your nips. It's here and here. Not here. Hey, you can end now. End it.